In the previous video tutorial about the six steps to mask schedule method, it was about downloading components such as doors, windows, spinal staircases, vehicles, trees, etc. from the 3D warehouse. However, the problem that arises after downloading components such as doors and windows is that you may not always get the same type of window that fits exactly into your model. So what most people do is they keep on editing the windows they downloaded from the 3D warehouse and at the end it becomes worthless. To solve this problem that appears especially with the windows, in today's class I will be discussing on how you can create your own windows in SketchUp. Hey everyone, my name is Pratiksha and I welcome you all to SketchUp Tutorial Nepal. In this short clip, you can see that the window that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse is not in proportion to the building. The scale is not matching, the frame is a bit less, and the window does not even enhance the overall design of the building. In this scenario, I recommend you to use the dynamic windows. Dynamic windows are designed such that it adjusts scale and is perfectly without model. It is scalable and a good skill to learn. So, how do we get the dynamic windows? Go to 3D Warehouse and source the dynamic windows. Download it into your model and adjust it with the help of the scale tool. It automatically changes the scale, fitting appropriately to your model. I will show you this in a demonstration video right here. Also, further edit the dynamic windows. Right click on the window and choose dynamic component. And then choose dynamic option. You can see several options with width, height, color, grill, etc. Adjust the window as per your design. Since this is a tutorial video, now I will guide you on how you can make your own windows sketch up manually. This is the plan I will be working on. Here we are making our wall, 9 feet, 4 inch wall. Let us see where our windows are placed. With the help of tape. Draw a reference line. And okay. Next, mark your seal level. And the lintel is at 7 feet. Next. Draw a rectangle. Next, create an opening with the help of push pull toolbar. Now I'll make this all one group. Take a rectangular face over this. Select this and take offset two inch. Do this 
make it a group. Now we pull this to five inch, five, and turn. Okay. So let us move this a bit inside. Next, we will make panel. Again, draw a rectangle and select this and take offset. 3 inch. Make group. 2 inch. We will now fix our glass. Draw a rectangle. Make a group again. Move this a bit inside. Okay, so our window is ready now. We will apply materials. Okay, so let's apply wood over here and glass. Yeah. Make a rectangle. Take offset two inch in from the midpoint. And one inch this side. One. Okay. This was now. Delete this lines and again from the midpoint we will draw a line on this side and one inch this side. Make a face and then delete. Delete this, delete, delete, delete. Make group. This to five inch. Offset to inch delete this make group two inch for our panel now we will add class okay good So make this one group and then copy it here and then here and then here. So if you want to have a two band window over here, then you can simply copy this. And edit, edit group. Select this and draw a line this way. And here. this and place it here and
So these were the tricks I follow to make windows in SketchUp. If you have some other ways to make windows, then please let us know right down on the comment section below. It will be helpful for all the users also. I will meet you next with another tutorial showing how to make a complete 3D of a digital sketch. If you find my videos helpful, then do share it with your friends. If you want to see more of the sketch official videos, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel. One of my recent uploads is a video tutorial on how to import AutoCAD files in SketchUp. If you haven't already, you can check on the box right here.